hey guys welcome back in today's video we will be uh, discussing about uh, redis so how we can use redis as a custom object store option so uh, let's get deep dive into it so as you can see uh, this is the redislabs.com and uh, it is giving us a try uh, trial version to uh, explore but before we jump on to that uh, let's try to understand the different offerings it is giving us cloud as well as the software so uh, once you create a uh, default uh, or you can say the trial uh, account onto it uh, let me show you how it will look like so it will give you option of uh, switching between the cloud and the software so once you are able to fill all these details um, these are the uh, cloud essentials or bare minimum offering from redis labs so once you create your uh, account on this redislabs.com let me try to log in give me a moment guys so it is it is loading but it's a bit slow uh, let me try to log in with this uh, different uh, browser so this is the same place and i'm just trying to log in yes uh, it was related to browser stuff so i'm just logging in with my credentials i will show you like after uh, registering onto this particular site what all different things we can see so on the top you can see uh, it is giving us option to switch between the cloud and the software version uh, let's click on the software and here you can see the different uh, versions which are being available for your download it can be used in the docker format as well or if you want it uh, on your um, uh, ubuntu red hat or oracle linux uh, version the different redis modules are available so having said that uh, i will be discussing more about the custom object store setup for redis labs but uh, uh, same can be further uh, extended to the different use cases which can involve even the caching strategy as well because it also uses the uh, um, the object store right so uh, this is like one of the uh, 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 during the configuration of or when you uh, once log in into this redis enterprise cloud it will ask you a couple of things like what should be the database name so i have used this uh, mulesoft as the uh, database name apart from that these value will be uh, given the option like if you are choosing the aws gcp or the other uh, azure option uh, this particular subscription will uh, pop up by default 30 mb is being given to us uh, as a trial version replication is being disabled this is a non clustered uh, flavor of uh, redis uh, enterprise cloud this particular uh, access control and security is about the user password uh, that uh, this, this is the same which you have used to log in to this redis lab site apart from that uh, this endpoint will be very handy so just uh, make a note of it other than that if you click on the matrices side of it uh, you will see uh, you can you can uh, switch to the different um, periods like it could be minute five minutes hour day week month and year and uh, accordingly you can see how much memory is being consumed out of 30 mb on uh, the allocated ones total number of keys and all 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 other stuff right so this was a very brief about the um, redis enterprise cloud now let's switch to the um, any point studio 7.7 4.3 runtime <clears throat> as you can see i have already installed the redis connector so how to install it just click on this search in exchange and you have to put down the redis keyword over here and it will uh, start looking into the exchange just put it on to the right hand side using the add button and click on finish it will start installing the redis connector on your uh, workspace so once it is being done you should be able to see all these different options okay so uh, i have div uh, divided this particular uh, video into the two parts uh, the first part we will be testing the redis flow whether it is being set properly or not and the second we will be using a object store and configuring the object store and retrieving something here and there okay 
So the first part uh, test the Redis flow. It is a uh, HTTP listener, and after that, I have drag and drop this set uh, Redis connector onto the canvas. And let me show you the configuration of this. So here you can see it is expecting a payload which is having two values, key and value elements. And there is a Redis OS uh, in the basic settings. If I open this. So you can see uh, this is the host and this is the port. This is the same which we have uh, explored over here. So let me go to the configuration and you can see this is the endpoint and this is the port. So this is the same and the password I have uh, uh, taking it from the property file and I have selected a non-cluster version. You can use cluster and sentinel depending on your use case, but I'm going with the non-cluster because the trial version is giving me that option only. So just to cross check if it is everything is fine, I am clicking on the test connection and let's see. It will take a couple of seconds to check. So test connection is successful. I will close this prompt and I will go back to the message flow and let me show you the rest of the things. So it is it is like we are putting the key value pairs. We are putting something uh, onto the Redis level. After that, I am going to uh, take it out using the same key. I'm logging the same stuff in the these particular loggers and finally I'm going to delete it and in the very end of it I'm putting a transform message just to showcase like Redis is working as expected. So this was a very brief about how Redis uh, whether it is working fine or not. You can see the uh, action part as well. This is slash Redis okay and it, it will be expecting a post JSON message. Now apart from that, uh, and this is one another flow in which I am using this object store and let me show you the configuration of the same uh, key value pairs are the same which we are passing through from the payload. So let me show you the object store configuration. So this is persistent and uh, uh, maximum entries allowed is 10. You can configure it again and the configuration reference is of something of our interest. Let's go deep into it. So here again, it is referring the non-cluster version of it, uh, same host port and the password is being picked up. And if I click on the test connection, it should work because it is uh, basically the same as the Redis uh, connection, which we have set up. So this is pretty much of it. Let's click OK and close all the things and go back to the canvas and hit the run button. It will take a couple of seconds to load. So in the meanwhile, uh, I will set my postman. So this is the postman and uh, this is the first flow in which I will be putting this uh, one and the value and it will give me something like this Redis is working as expected which is being set already in the um, transform message okay let's wait for a couple of seconds to load it So this is being deployed and I am cleaning up all the console and let's hit it from the um, this particular um, post message. Click on the send button and uh, expecting Redis is working as expected. So I got the same response. So what it is doing first it is setting then we are getting the value and finally we are cleaning it up and deleting. So that uh, j this is just to make sure our uh, Redis is perfectly configured. Now we are going for the object to setup. So I'm passing one and uh, uh, the name or, or the value. If you see over here, the uh, key is uh, one, the same which we have tried earlier. And if it is already present, it will give some error, right? But uh, since it is already being deleted, it will not be the case. Let me hit on the send button. So it is giving me back. It seems like it is being already set up now. Now, just to cross check, uh, request received and stored so from where it is request uh, received is from here and the logger says it is being stored but uh, in order to check whether whether all these things are working fine or not i will use one more flow that is for retrieve keys and within the listener i am using this retrieve all option so here it goes for the retrieve all Basically, it's a simple get method and this is just to retrieve all keys. I will be use, converting it into JSON format, then retrieve all the key value pairs using the same object store and then putting into the JSON format and logging it finally. So this is just a uh, cross check 
or the confirmation whether all the things are uh, working fine or not so i will click on the send button and let's see what is the response back so this is the same which we have sent uh, using our um, on oh, this particular object store right let me put something second so this is the second entry which i am going to put so this is fine and let's click on the uh, retrieve all and click on the send button and you can see and now it is getting the second entry let me go back to the console and let's see how it is printing over here so this is pretty much about the uh, this is pretty much about the settings uh, through which we can achieve uh, the custom object store using the redis i hope you like this video and thanks for watching